Welcome to the next session of heat transfer. Today we understand the log main temperature difference for the condenser and evaporator. In the last lecture, we understand the log main temperature difference for the counter flow and parallel flow. It is same like that. Before that, we understand the what is meant by condenser and evaporator. The condenser is a device used for condense a substance from its gaseous to the liquid state by cooling it. And the evaporator means a evaporator is a device used to evaporate a substance from its liquid to the gaseous state by heating it. So first thing, log main temperature difference for the condenser. We plot a temperature distribution diagram. Here we having the cold fluid which is inlet temperature will be Tc1 and outlet temperature Tc2. And the condensing hot fluid which having the same temperature that is Th1 and Tc1 which are at the same temperature means Th1 equal to Th2. Delta T1 will be the temperature difference between the Th1 and the Tc1 and Delta T2 will be temperature difference between Th2 and Tc2. We use the same formula for the log mean temperature difference that will be the Delta T1 minus Delta T2 upon in log Delta T1 upon Delta T2. If the condenser is in the parallel flow we use the delta t1 equal to th1 minus tc1 and delta t2 equal to th2 minus tc2 and for counter flow delta t1 equal to th1 minus tc2 and delta t2 equal to th2 minus tc1 but in the condenser main important part is th1 is equal to th2 log mean temperature difference for the evaporator we plot a temperature distribution diagram hot fluid which is at the temperature th1 and the th2 is out outlet temperature boiling liquid at the inlet temperature tc1 and the outlet temperature tc2 temperature difference delta t1 that will be the th1 minus tc1 and delta t2 will be th2 minus tc1 here the tc1 is equal to tc2 in the condenser we having the th1 equal to th2 here has a difference tc1 is equal to the tc2 we use the same formula for LMTD that will be the delta T1 minus delta T2 upon in log delta T1 upon delta T2. So for parallel flow, delta T1 equal to TH1 minus TC1 and delta T2 equal to TH2 minus TC2. And for the counter flow, delta T1 equal to TH1 minus TC2 and delta T2 equal to TH2 minus TC2.